Let's see how to integrate cosine x over 1 plus cosine x. And even though we can just multiply the top and bottom by 1 minus cosine x and work out some trick identities, right? However, I would like to show you guys with the wire straps substitution. So all the cosine x are going to be this, and then the dx is going to be that. Let's take a look on what we get. This is going to be the integral on the top we will have 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared over on the bottom we have 1 plus for the cosine x, same thing, right? 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And then for the dx, we have that. 2 over 1 plus t squared dt. And you see it's kind of convenient that we can just take all the things into the t world with all these ingredients right here, right? And now this is a huge fraction, isn't it? We have to, you know, clean things up a little bit. First, let me take the 2 to the front. So we have 2, and then we have the integral. And then on the top, let me just keep it as how it is right here. We have the 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And let's look at the denominator to see what we have. This part here, it technically has a parenthesis. Likewise, this should also have a parenthesis, right? And then we'll take this, distribute, distribute. When we take this, multiply with 1, we just have 1 plus t squared. And then we are going to add it with this times that. This and this will cancel, so we just have 1 minus t squared, and then we still have the dt. Pretty nice, because plus t squared here, minus t squared, they cancel each other out. Even better, we have the 1 plus 1. Of course, that's equal to 2. In the denominator, that will cancel each other out with that 2 right here, right? So, altogether, what are we integrating? This is just the integral. Inside here, we just have the 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared dt. And then, right here, this is just a regular rational expression because the degree on the top is equal to the degree on the bottom, so we have to use long division. Sometimes we may end up with a situation that we have to work out the partial fractions, but in here, we are lucky we can just do long division and that will take care of us. And let me do the long division right here for you guys real quick. So right here, I'm going to put this inside, right? And let me write this down first as negative t squared plus 1. And then on the outside, I'm going to put down t squared plus 1. So what do we need? We need to have a negative 1. Because negative 1 times t squared, that will give us exactly negative t squared. And then negative 1 times plus 1, that's minus 1. And then don't forget, we subtract. This and that will cancel each other out. 1 minus negative 1. We have what? That's positive 2, isn't it? So inside here, what are we integrating? This is the same as integral, and then this right here, we will have negative 1, and then this is the remainder, so we write it as plus 2 over the original denominator, which is, let me write it down as 1 plus t squared. Okay, so this is what we need, and we have the dt right here, and we are ready to integrate. To integrate negative 1 in the t world, we get negative t, and then this right here we have plus, let me put on a 2 first, so we can look at this as integral of 1 over 1 plus t squared. In the t world, we get inverse tangent t. And then we are done with the integration part, right? At the end, we take this back to the x world. First, we know this is negative t, and t is tangent of x over 2. So we will have negative tangent and this is the original tangent, x over 2. That's the first part. And then plus 2 times that. Let me just write it down as plus 2. And what's the inverse tangent t in the x world, though? Let's refer back to this real quick. OK, t is equal to tangent of x over 2. Let's apply the inverse tangent on both sides. So we can look at this, and then we can say the inverse tangent of t, right? This is equal to x over 2. And that's all we need. And you see, that's what we have right here. Inverse tangent t is x over 2, so we just put that down here. At the end, 2 and 2 can be cancelled it, so we can write this down as negative inverse tangent of x over 2 for the first part, and then we put down plus x. And then we are done. So of course, we add a c, 
and then box the answer. That's it. Thank you.